What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D Rip. Hey, today we got another video. Today we're gonna be reacting to WWE matches. WWE, oh, WWE match types. So dangerous they could kill you. First, I'm gonna shout out to y'all getting the thumbs up. And make sure y'all subscribe because we're almost at 5k, and I already said before in the last video, and the video before that, and the other one before that. Once we hit 5k, we will be stepping foot into a ring, doing some training, taking some chops, jumping off the top rope. Basically going to wrestling school, all right? But look, first time, like I said, if it's y'all first time, subscribe, bro. Just subscribe, because we're almost at 5K. And if you want to see me do that, you got to hit this 5K goal before the end of December. And I know y'all can do it, because y'all literally did it for 4K, and y'all did it for 3K. So I know y'all can do it. But look, without further ado, let's get into this. Wrestling by itself is already really dangerous. Okay. Sure, the fights would be choreographed, but the stunts Bro, are I forgot about that match. real, and one mistake can result in someone losing a tooth or even having their neck broken. Mm. To keep fans watching, WWE has continuously created new match types. The most exciting ones are, unfortunately, usually the most matches. dangerous ones. Some yeah. of these are such high risk that WWE has been forced to make them safer or even ban them outright. One of the most painful and unforgiving matches in WWE is the Elimination Chamber. The original chamber that debuted in Tizen 2 weighed 10 tons and was made out of steel. It looked like an awesome structure, but it was not awesome for those who had to wrestle in it. There was no padding, so landing on the metal grating outside the ring always hurt. The other thing that made the Elimination Chamber dangerous was its height and shape. Wrestlers were able to climb to the top of the chamber pods, but there wasn't much space to move around. This made it difficult to hit high flying moves properly. Rob Van Dam infamously landed on Triple H's throat during the first Elimination Chamber match because he had to crouch while on top of the pod. Mm. About 15 years later, in 2017, WWE redesigned the Elimination Chamber. The chamber was made taller, making it easier for wrestlers to perform moves from on top of the pods. WWE also added padding, which made Lenny and the steel structure less painful. Just from its name, it's clear why the first blood match poses such Right, that first blood match with, with Undertaker and Miss Kennedy, boy, I'm telling you, that match was crazy. That match was crazy. That chair shot, I wish you could hear the sound. That chair shot literally, like the chair literally wrapped around the head of Mr. Kennedy. That was like the meanest chair shot of it. Probably that one and, and the Eddie Guerrero and JBL chair shot are the two craziest, the most thunderous chair shots I've ever heard in my whole life. Steel really structure less painful. Just from its name, it it's clear why the first blood match poses such a risk. The goal of the match is to make your opponent the first to bleed by any means necessary. The match is already dangerous because of the use of weapons, but the real danger comes from the open wound. To bleed, wrestlers do actually cut their heads, usually using a small razor blade they hide in their boot or that a referee will give to them secretly. This can lead to infection, both for the wrestler with the open cut and anyone who comes in contact with the blood. This might be why WWE has it done a first blood match since 2008. Now wrestlers Dang, have blood in other matches, but since someone needs to be busted wide open to win a first blood match, that's the reason it is so dangerous. The ladder match is many people's favorite match. Bro, the ladder match is my favorite match of all time. And it ain't what it is without one man. Y'all comment right now and y'all tell me who y'all think I'm talking about. The ladder match wouldn't be right now what it is if it wasn't for one person, bro. I'm not even gonna say, matter of fact, I ain't gonna say one person. It's a bunch of people, but in particular for me, it's one person. I'm gonna give y'all a little, I'm gonna give y'all a second. All right, for me, without Jeff Hardy, oh, my phone fell. Without Jeff Hardy, the ladder match is not what it is. And I say that because he's been in so many ladder matches, and every single one he's been in, he's made it. Remember, I can't even say it. Memorable. There we go. He's made it that every single time he stepped foot in the ring with the ladder. He's either jumped off of it, doing something that we're going to remember. He's either... Most of the time he's jumping off of it. I'm not going to lie. Most of the time he's jumping off of it. But that made it so much... Oh, that made it so much more entertaining and it made it better. In all of wrestling. And, and, what, I, and, and what I said... Before, when I said more people, it's not just one person, it's, it's multiple. Asian Christian, the Delis, and the Hardys. I'm not going to forget about them for those who are going to try to kill me, you know. I didn't forget about them. But I'm saying Jeff in particular because he makes the latter match more exciting. 
wrestling. Part of the reason is because of the high risk the match presents. To win a ladder match, a wrestler has to grab whatever is hanging above the ring, usually a championship. While ladder matches can kind of be as dangerous as the wrestlers involved want them to oh be, my there is always a certain level of risk, simply because you have to climb above the ring to win. I'll Another to reason win is due to how the ladder match has evolved over the years. Most ladder matches usually involve big, high-risk stunts, mm -hmm. which the fans have come to expect to see. This makes the match less safe, and we see many wrestlers Ooh. suffer some painful injuries due to spots going wrong. Dean Ambrose got a cut on his head at WrestleMania 31 when he got powerbombed through a ladder outside of the ring. Of course, Joe Joey Mercury's mm -hmm. horrific facial injury in Chosen 6 shows exactly how wrong a ladder match can go. Yeah. Another popular match type is Hell in a Cell. The ring is surrounded by a giant steel cage. Alright, so what the Hell in a Cell? Yes, I like the original Hell in a Cell look, you know, with it actually looking like a fence? A metal? I said, yeah, a fence. Like a fence in your backyard. It looks like a fence in your backyard. I like it better when it go like that. What I don't like is when they painted it red. I don't... That right there just killed it for me. I didn't really like it. I didn't really watch much of those because I didn't really like it. Because it, it, just, it just was not good on my eyes, all right? I don't know if they're going to have any clips of that here. Hopefully they do. But if you not, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll find it somewhere. And, as the name implies, all hell breaks loose. Similar to the ladder match, Hell in a Cell can sort of be as dangerous or as safe as wrestlers want to make it. However, See, the cell has the caused red. so many injuries that it can't be ignored. Of course, the most famous is Mankind getting thrown off the structure in 1998 and accidentally falling through the top of the cell later in the match. Shane McMahon did something similar when he performed off. an elbow drop from the top of Hell in a Cell at WrestleMania 32. The impact caused McMahon's belly button to get blown out, among other injuries. In this Belly button got blown out? Wait, how does that even happen? So it's just like... There's no blood on his shirt. How do your belly button too. get blown the out? Impact cosmic if he's saying your belly button got blown out, I would think he would be bleeding or something. Or maybe I'm just thinking too deep. Man's belly button to get blown out, among other injuries. In 2000, Rikishi fell straight down onto a truck and injured his hip, which never fully recovered. Even non-wrestlers aren't safe. At Judgment Day 2002, mm. Chris Jericho fought Triple H inside Hell in a Cell. The referee, Tim White, got shoved into the wall of the cell, resulting in him injuring his shoulder and ending his career. Easily the most dangerous match type in WWE history is the Inferno match. How an Inferno match works is that the ring is surrounded by fire. Mm -hmm. That's already pretty dangerous, but what makes the match so risky is that the only way to win is by setting your opponent on fire. There are no tricks either. A wrestler is engulfed by right. real flames. Bruh, don't sit here and act like that right now. Tap out. Why do you do this? You know, you know you made a video and you're probably gonna put it at the end of this. You be trying to, you be trying to pull people legs. All right, tap out. Cause I don't know if you've seen my videos. You probably do. Tap out. Look, bruh. Why are you trying to pull people like I literally reacted to one of your videos about this match here and one of the secrets. I'm going to put that video at the end of this one. You literally talked about the secrets, bro. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hint that it's right here. Right? It's within his arm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, tap out saying you're talking about, yes, it's real fire. Yes, we got that. But listen to what he said. It on fire. There are no tricks either. A wrestler. There's no tricks either. Dude. You can see it. Look how big his arm looks. Wrestler is engulfed by real flames. Fire is extremely dangerous to work with oh gosh, because the small specific is engulfed by real flames. Fire is extremely dangerous to work with because the smallest mistake can result in serious injuries or even. Oh. Fire can also spread fairly easily, also making it a risk for everyone nearby. That's why WWE has only ever done five Inferno matches in the company's entire history. In 2013, Kane fought Bray Wyatt in a Ring of Fire match. It was similar to an Inferno match, but nobody was set on fire, and Wyatt won via a pinfall. In 2020, Bray Wyatt, as The Fiend, fought Randy Orton in a Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt, bro. Firefly Inferno match. The fire was placed on the barricade and not the edge of the ring, making the match much safer. The match was also filmed and broadcast later, and no fans were in attendance. The Fiend did get set on fire, but all these precautions made the most recent Inferno match safer than the previous ones. It's world? unlikely WWE will ever do an Inferno match again, but bro. match safer than the previous. He just RKO him while he was on, on fire. fire. But all these precautions made the most recent Inferno match safer than the previous ones. It's unlikely WWE will ever That's do tough. an Inferno match again. That's tough. We're not.
not gonna know that, Randy. We're not gonna know that, Randy. Hey, Randy, we miss you, bro. I know I do. But that's tough, bro. He just did an RKO while he was on fire. Hands were in the Like I've watched wrestling a lot, but around this time, I wasn't really paying attention to it. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't paying attention to it around the time where they didn't have fans in attendance because it was kind of boring to me. I didn't really pay too much attention to it. Yes, I know Bray Wyatt. You know his um, it wasn't really his body. It wasn't really him. But I know the fiend got burned. But what I'm saying is, I didn't know he got RKO while he was on fire. That's tough. Pendants. The Fiend did get set on fire, but all these precautions made the most recent Inferno match safer than the previous ones. It's unlikely WWE will ever do an Inferno match again, but if they do, it'll likely be similar to what Orton and The Fiend did, or the Reign of Fire match. Which WWE weapons are the safest, and which are the most dangerous? We rank them, and the results will surprise you. That Kalisto thing right there, bruh. Every time I see that, chills. Well, look, first time I come across, trying to make sure I get to hit that thumbs up. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, D-Rib, man. I'm out.